Number two, lines array MP bisects MNQ. Let's draw a picture of this. So we're going to have M, N, Q. So we have M, N, Q, and M, P bisects this, doesn't it? This will be P. Since it bisects, we know that this is equal to this, isn't it? So this angle is equal to this angle. The measure of angle M, N, P, M, N, P is what? This is 6X minus 12, isn't it? So we're going to put 6X minus 12 there. If this is 6X minus 12, what's this going to be? It's also going to be 6X minus 12, won't it? The angle of P in Q, I'm sorry, is 4X plus 8. 4X, I got ahead of myself, didn't I? This is going to be the same as that, but P and Q is 4X plus 8. Find angle M in Q. We want the whole angle. So we know that this is equal to this, don't we? This is going to equal to this, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to have 6x minus 12 equals 4x plus 8. We're going to move the x to the left. And we're going to move the 12 to the right. So we'll have 2x equals 10, divide by 2, and we'll get x equals 5. Now then we got to go back here and plug 5 in. 4 times 5 plus 8 is 28. 6 times 5, if we plug 5 in, 6 times 5 would be 30, minus 12 would be 18. Where did I mess up here? 4 times 5, 2x plus 12 is, tw this is 12 right here. So this is 20. I did that on purpose to see if you're paying attention. This will be 10. Okay, I forgot to add 12 there. I'm sorry about that. And then plug in 10 here. 4 times 10 is 40 plus 8 is 48. And then plug 10 in here. 6 times 10 minus 12 is also 48. So we know that that angle is 48. That angle is 48. The whole angle will be, is going to be 96, okay? So angle M and Q would be 96.